What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Andy Coach, again, George Calioris on my deadlift day. This is a dynamic effort deadlift day, which is about 50% of your one rep max with addition of bands. Should be about 20% for the raw lifters, as I spoke about in my article that I wrote. 20% uh, band tension, 50% uh, straight weight equals about 70% at the top, which is optimal for producing dynamic effort results. That is force equals mass times acceleration, so you are trying to improve the rate at which you lift to increase force production. I know, fancy-ass terms for just lifting lightweight fast. Um, today wasn't moving so good, felt depleted, felt I've been on a calorie deficit. So this 245 or whatever it is, I think it's 245, 240, because that's an axle, 70-pound axle just felt like straight garbage. So all I was trying to do was get into a good position at the bottom. I showed those first couple clips of how long it was taking me to get in position. Um, and I was just taking my time, making sure everything was right, doing a checklist before I pushed the feet into the floor, spread the floor apart and extended the hips all the way through. Trying to lock the triceps out, trying to pull the shoulders down to the hips. You know, it's a big checklist. If you ever lifted with me, then you know how I am. It's a whole thing that you got to go through. Um, but regardless, I did 16 sets of one. I wasn't really timing my breaks. I was just taking time to set up in between and just making it go as best as I can. Um, yeah. After I really didn't feel like what any sort of assistance was, so all I did was some lat rows. You can see I got that palm um, under grip, trying to, trying to externally rotate my shoulders, stretch the lats a little bit, squeeze the shoulders when they're coming back. Uh, just trying to get some health work in. The weight isn't too heavy. I think it's only 90 pounds or 80 pounds or something like that. The cable obviously makes it different. Did some of these stability ball rollouts. And then I did some leg curls and hip bridges with a, at a 90 degree angle and then at a 45 degree angle for the hips and hamstrings. And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Appreciate you watching. Make sure you like the video, share the video, and subscribe.